Let's go. I'm gonna give you some etymology, some bro etymology here. My biceps are popping, but I actually am just doing triceps right now. I'm just doing one muscle group and I only have 30 minutes. With that being said, all right, I don't think it's gonna fall on you can like that. So, what is the, 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 the pomp? The pomp. It's better than, I'm actually not gonna quote him because he talks about how it's better than Gami. The pomp. So, what is the pomp? It's actually sarcoplasmic hypertrophy. Sarco meaning flesh and or muscle. This is also where you get things like sarcophagus from, right? A sarco, flesh, phagus means consumption of. It's where you also get ezo. Esophagus, esophagus, the consumption within, because your esophagus actually contracts to make that food go down your throat. That being said, though, we know that sarco means flesh. Here means part, because a sarcomere is actually a part of your myofibrillal. Oh, fib fibrils. I always get that a little bit. Blah, blah, blah. But you have your sarcomeres that are made, made up of actin and myosin and doing the whole contraction with the sodium potassium pump helio. That being said, if you want to get a better pump, make sure that you're very hydrated. See, I'm losing my pump now, right? Because I'm, I'm yapping, I'm getting cold. I'm almost done anyways. But I thought I'd talk about this here because I don't know. So we got the muscle part, essentially, mer, coming from meros in the Greek, and then hypertrophy. Hyper means high, and trophy actually means nourishment. Just like you're given a trophy at the end of some sort of competition or event that you win, it nourishes your soul, and it affirms that you're a rockin' awesome badass mofo. I don't know, but we're all winners up in this club. That being said, though, that is the sarcoplasmic hypertrophy, aka high nourishment into the muscle and that's when we're bringing blood flow in because wherever we're bringing blood flow, we're bringing the nutrients carrying that blood flow. We have hemoglobin, which is a protein that carries oxygen through your blood. And the more oxygen, the more nutrients that you have going into your body, the better it is. That's why when you're hypoxic, hypo meaning low, oxygen, ox, that's not good stuff. You don't wanna be hypoxic can lead to catabolism in certain respects and whatnot and degradation. And I'm going to shut up now. Hope you learned something new.